Well, good day, everyone. Um, I'm up here in British Columbia, Canada. It's 24th of October, and I've got some sad news. Uh, I should be joyous today. It's my, it's my birthday, but I got the news that we've lost Skunk. Skunk's dead. How many pigs? How many are we going to get? That many? Okay, you want to get a big pig? No dog has ever been as close to me as this fella. I'd rather have kept it private, but you people, my uh, subscribers, you guys and gals, you've, you've been great to us, you support us, uh, and I think it's only fair that you know that, you know, it's no use me just putting clips on and, and he's gone. Um, I've been blessed to have had some incredible dogs in my life. You know, old Jess and Tig and Tank, Ernie, Grub, and uh, Axel, Jock, Bo, Kurt's dog, Wiley, Willie. Probably greatest of all for me was was old Chocky. But Skunk was Chocky's son, and he was something special. He was just oh, I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. He was just he knew he knew he was on the same wavelength with me. And probably because he was a, an only pup in the litter, he broke his leg when he was only a few week old pup, you know, 12 week, 14 week old pup, I think. He broke his leg and the vet said probably best to put him down and we didn't. Judy and I, we made up a Thomas splint and we healed his leg and he literally lived with me. He was in my arms for weeks and weeks and weeks and we just got that way that inseparable. Anyhow, there's been a cascade of events happened. The, this damn pandemic, this China virus, this ridiculous thing that's happened to the world. We stood to our guns and we're proud of that, but it meant we couldn't move. We couldn't go, we couldn't come over here and see our kids and our grandkids and we've waited years. So when the chance came, we just basically organised people to look after our place and we dropped everything and we come over to help them through a drought here, help them work with them and meet our grandkids. No regrets. And we had great people looking after the place. You know, with Bernie, what a gentleman. Bernie, you are number one, mate. Rob and Mel, right, the most decent people we ever meet. Mark and Angie, I cannot thank you enough. Bob and Nell, there's Kai and Steve, Parrish, there's Stella, everybody that's helped us, that allowed us to get away for a few months and see our kids. But how do you explain to your best buddy that's a dog, how do you explain that, mate, I'm not deserting you? Through all this, they've all said Skunk's been out of character, he's been... He's been picking fights, he's been cranky, he's been, you know, causing trouble with everybody. He's been howling and screaming at the moon and whatever because, well, he picked a fight, he got hurt and Judy sat with him, nursed him through and he looked okay. He came right, he had penicillin. He... Our account had been hacked by some lowlife had taken every cent out of our working account. And I'm over here and I made a decision. I said, just, he's coming better, right, I see how he is tomorrow. And uh, I made a bad decision. He sat on the veranda and he howled. And I think he just gave up the will to live. He just lay down and died. I'll carry that one with me. I'll carry that one with me. So I'll finish this series 
couple more clips with him and I've got one more trapping line there I'll put up where you'll see Skunk in there in all his glory doing what he does. But I just wanted people to know that when you don't see him anymore, that's why. Okay, so my apologies everybody. I made a wrong call and that's what it is. What? Skunk what? What? You want some more, do you? You want some more peaks? Skunk. 